Hi, this is Nathan Seidel with Sparksman Electronics here to talk to you today about our new GPS RTK2. This board is based on the U-Block's ZF9P module, one of the latest, most cutting edge, most exciting modules I've played with. Now, what is RTK? It stands for real-time kinematics. Once fully configured, this module can produce accurate positional results down to 10 millimeters. That's correct, roughly the width of your fingernail. Now, how it does this is pretty magical, considering that the GPS satellites are whizzing above our heads at 20,000 kilometers, or roughly 12,000 miles above our heads. The RTK2 is the latest eval board from Sparkfun. It has all the bits you need while avoiding all the annoying bits you don't. An RTC battery provides hot start data, and a tightly controlled impedance match UFL connector provides a compact connection for your antenna. The USB-C connector provides a very quick and easy way to get up and running quickly with U-Block software. But there are also four other ports, two UARTs, SPI, and I2C, all available to the user. You'll also notice two of our quick connectors on there, making it possible to add the RTK2 to your project without ever needing to solder. What separates the ZF9P from every GPS module you've received before is the ability to receive both the L1 and L2 bands of GPS. What does that mean? Every module you've used before uses L1. Uh, it's the GPS signal broadcast at roughly 1500 megahertz. L2 is a new civilian band that the current GPS satellites have started broadcasting in the past few years. This module is the first module that has the capability to receive both of those that isn't commercial or military grade in thousands and thousands of dollars. This is the first low cost GPS solution that can receive both the L1 and L2 bands. A few downsides to the L2 is that it requires a new antenna capable of receiving both of these bands. So if you want the best reception, consider upgrading your antenna. And secondly, of the 32 GPS active satellites, currently only 19 are broadcasting this band, but that's soon to change by the end of 2020. The ZF9P is incredibly powerful, outputting up to 25 positional solutions per second in normal GPS mode, or 12 solutions per second in RTK mode. If you've ever played with GPS before, this is an incredible update rate. If you've also played with GPS modules, you'd be familiar with NEMA, the comma delimited sentences that start with that familiar dollar sign. NEMA is great for normal GPS, but once you start getting into the higher data rates, the amount of serial parsing becomes unsustainable. So be sure to check out our new SparkFun Arduino library that incorporates all of the new features that the U-Blocks binary protocol gives us. Stop parsing NEMA data and just grab the datums that you need. This is the U-Blocks software called U-Center. And the, currently we have the RTK2 hooked up over USB-C. And one of the first things I noticed when I hooked it up was just the variety of satellites that this module can pick up. Normally you see US satellites and maybe Russian satellites, but in this case we can see Russian, US, Galileo, it's European Union, and Baidu, Chinese satellites. That is one of the amazing powers of this module is the ability to not both detect multiple constellations, but track them simultaneously. Furthermore, you can see our positional accuracy without any kind of correction data is under a meter. And the last thing that I'd like to show you is the number of satellites used in the solution Currently, it's 23 satellites. If you're aware of the GPS constellation, there's only 32 satellites. So this module is capable of using not only GPS satellites, but a variety of satellites in the other constellations, increasing the precision of the overall solution. By connecting a SparkFun Bluetooth Mate to the RTCM correction port and using the NTRIP Android mobile app, we were able to broadcast correction data to the module achieving an RTK position accuracy of 17 millimeters. This is incredible. If you're as excited as I am about high precision GPS, be sure to check out the RTK too.